Do you have a light source? No. <laughs> okay. How far have we walked so far? Uh, 200 meters. 200 meters? I made that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I met up with my friend in Flagstaff, Arizona, where we trekked over a mile deep into a lava tube cave and stayed underground for almost five hours. We brought a bunch of glow sticks with us to take long exposure pictures. Fortunately, it was warmer inside the cave as opposed to the icy snow above ground. We both agreed that air inside actually seemed fresher and easier to breathe. The utter silence underground was so peaceful. We decided to enjoy it by meditating for a bit as well. <laughs> I'm three foot four, I don't have to crawl. <laughs> It was a bit too chilly for me to stay in Flagstaff and car camp, so I headed back a few hours south to Tonto National Forest where I've been staying the past few weeks, and then woke up early to take my morning walk and see the sunrise. Hi, <laughs> so I'm on this really cool hike called Prayer Hands Trail, I think it's called. It looks like you can go up there, so I'm gonna do it. The annoying thing is I'm gonna have to get down and get my phone. I'm gonna have to come back and get you in like two seconds. So I'm climbing this for no reason other than to get a cool cinematic shot of me climbing. Oh, I don't know about this. It's just a little sketch. I feel like I could do it though. But everybody knows that a broken heart All right, so to climb that again, I'm not gonna be able to bring my tripod with me. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my phone and put it in my pants so that I can use both my hands and feet to climb up there. Honestly, I'm a little sketched out because that was not that easy to get up. Um, and now I have to get down. But the thing is, I'm already up here. So like I might as well go explore there, you know, because that's easy. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go back down the same way anyway. So even though I'm kind of scared and I wanna get down now to make sure that I can, I'm gonna not worry and I'm just gonna go over here and, um, you know, explore and pretend that everything's fine. This is so cool, you have to see this. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, oh my God, this is crazy. Wow. Whoa. This is crazy. Mm. 
made it back to my stuff. I don't know what to do now. I guess I'm just going to keep exploring around here. So I've been exploring a few hours now. It's pretty cold. I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to head back to the car. It'll probably take me about an hour and a half. I'm going to relax today. I'm just going to head to the gym and probably just walk on the treadmill while I watch a movie and then shower, make some food, and probably just spend the day chilling by the gym or maybe go to Barnes & Noble because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like doing too much. I was on my way to the gym to go shower and relax and then I hit Barnes & Noble, but I drove down the road a little bit more and I found this amazing lake. It's so beautiful. Wow. So I'm just taking a walk now. It's pretty wild driving down the road. And you just make a turn with no expectations and you just find something like this. Huh. Really makes you appreciate life. Everyone should do this. I wish everyone could do this. Man, if it was summertime, I would totally use this as my shower. This is amazing. But we'll just keep exploring for now. Look at this cactus guy. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, I think I'm done exploring for now. Uh -uh. I'm gonna keep driving down this road. I feel like playing guitar now all of a sudden, so before I leave this beautiful place where there's no people around, I think I'm gonna find a cool spot to pull over and play guitar for a bit, because that's what I feel like doing. Nobody stole my car. <laughs> 